I am going to solve this problem 312. In this problem, it is said that the device shown is designed to aid in the removal of pull tape tops from the canes. So this is the device. It is used to pull tape tops from these canes. And it is said that if the user exerts a 40 Newton force, so this is the force exerted by the user in this direction that is making 10 degrees with the horizontal, right? At this point A. So it is said that determine the tension T in the portion BC of the pull tape, right? So this is the portion BC. So we are asked to find the tension in this portion. So if we isolate uh, this device from this system, so then this will be our free body diagram, right? So let's say that this is the tension in this BC part, right? This is BC part of the portion of the uh, pull tape, right? So if this is that uh, force, right? So this is the BC tension, right? So let's say that this is the tension, right? So now if we apply this equation, that is the summation of moment at point O equals to zero, right? So if we apply this equation, right? So for that, we have to resolve these forces into its components, right? So let me resolve the force applied by the user into its components. So then we will have one component in this direction and there will be one another component in this direction. Right? And similarly, we have to resolve this tension into its components as well, right? So it will have one component in this direction and it will have one another component in this direction. So let's say that this is Tx and this one is Ty and similarly this one is Fx and this one is Fy and if this is our positive x and positive y, right? To find this summation of moment at point O, we will apply the Varignan's theorem, right? So we will find the moment of individual components, right? So as we can see, if, if we say that clockwise moment is negative, right? So as we can see that this f of y is producing the clockwise moment at this point O, right? And the magnitude of this f of y is 40 sine of 10. This f of x is the cos component. Let me write. So it will be 40 cos of 10 degrees. And this f of y will be 40 sine of 10 degrees. Similarly, this t of x will be t cos of 45 degrees. And this t of y will be t sine of 40 degrees. Right? So this, for, this f of x component, this 40 cos of 10 is producing clockwise moment. So we will write 40 cos of 10 degrees. And the perpendicular distance of this component from this O is this, 78 plus 32. So I will write 78 plus 32, right? And we will write minus since f of x is producing clockwise moment at this point O, about this point. Similarly, this f of y is producing <laughs> the clockwise moment about this point O, so we will write minus, and this f of y component is 40 sine of 10 degrees, and the perpendicular distance of this f of y from this point O is this, 27 mm, right? So I will multiply this with 27. At this point O, there will be reaction forces as well, right? I forgot to mention that, so there will be a reaction force in this direction, right? Let's say that this is NO, right? So there will be a reaction force and in the normal direction that is acting in the positive Y direction, right? So there will be a reaction, but since this reaction is passing through this point O, so it will never produce any moment about O, right? So it will not be involved in this condition, right? So now as we can see that this T of Y is producing counterclockwise moment about this O and this its magnitude is T sine of 40. So we will write plus T sine of 45. This is 45, right? This is 45. T sine of 45 
into the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance of this t of y from O is this 36. So we will multiply it by 36. And similarly, this cos, this cos component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus t cos of 45 degrees into the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance of this t of x from this point O is 32 mm, right? So I will write 32 and this will be equal to 0. Now if I take t common from both of these terms, so t into 32, uh, 36, this 36 sin of 45 plus 32 cos of 45 degrees and this will be equal to this thing, right? So this will be plus 40 cos of 10 degrees into 78 plus 32 plus 40 sine of 10 degrees into 27 and if we divide this whole by this thing right so this will be 36 sine of 45 degrees plus 32 cos of 45 degrees so we will get the t magnitude right so let me solve it so this t comes out to be 94 newtons, right? So this is the tension in the pull tape portion, right? So this is the solution of this problem.